Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar which is being hosted by our national chapter in the Czech Republic. The national chapter is hosted by Charles University Prague and this is a follow-up onto the one held previously held in November last year. So during this webinar we will go into more detail into the master's study programme in edictology including how to enrol and other practical aspects of the admission process. Today, you will gain valuable information about tuition fees, the visa procedure, student life in Prague, and get an overview of how the study programme is conducted. So welcome, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. So I'm Kirsty Fitzpatrick, and whilst we are waiting for a few more to join us, I'll begin by saying a little bit more about ISUP. ISUP is a membership organisation working in the fields of substance use prevention, treatment and recovery support. Our aim is to connect professionals through networking, knowledge exchange and training, sharing the best evidence-based ethical approaches and promoting quality in all areas of prevention, treatment and recovery support practice. If you've not done so already, please head over to our website, isup.net, where you will find information on how to sign up for free membership. Our website also has a wealth of resources and publications for you to check out. Before we get started, I'd like to go over a few things so you know how to participate in today's event. You will have the opportunity, opportunity to submit text questions to our presenters by typing your questions into the questions pane of the webinar interface on your screen. You may send in any questions at any time during the presentation, so please do so, we'd love to hear from you, and we will collect these and address, and address them during the Q&A session at the end of today's webinar. A recording will also be made available for you to watch on demand after the event and I hope you will stay with, with us for what promises to be an interesting insight into student life in Prague. Now I'm delighted to tell you a little bit more about today's webinar and introduce you to our speakers. We will first play a, video, a welcome video by Professor Mikhail Majewski followed by presentations by Zuzana Hanikova and Adam Kunanek. Mr Majewski is a clinical psychologist physiotherapist and head of the Department of Addictology of First Faculty of Medicine at Charles University and the General University Hospital in Prague. Since 2008, he has been the Vice Dean of the First Faculty of Medicine of Charles University for non-medical study programmes. He, he is an external collaborator of the National Monitoring Centre for Drugs and Drug Addictions and editor of the professional journal Addictology. Uh, now for the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on today's webinar and my special thanks at the beginning is addressing to Adam and, and his entire team working hardly on not only on this webinar, of course, it's about long term work and, and systematic preparation of all components and work that has to be done for today. Let me tell you about a couple of things what I think that they are important and relevant to today's webinar and master program on addictions in Prague, what we are planning to open uh, in September uh, this year. Despite the fact that our faculty has uh, more than 4,000 students on medical program and, and dentistry program and other, uh, uh, other health, health programs, study programs, it's very special occasion to all of us because it's first time in our history when we are planning an opening international master program for international students in in uh, healthcare system for healthcare professionals uh, and despite the fact that uh, we have decades of uh, intensive experience with international program for medical students it's it's very special and it's it's very uh, uh, extraordinary to have uh, something uh, specifically on addictions. So we are trying to take it very responsibly and and uh, do our best for having everything all right and to offer our students uh, something what is um, best, what is fine, what is perfect and what is relevant uh, to addictions and addiction issues today. I would like to start with uh, general information about our faculty because uh, 
uh, we invested and we, we are investing incredible money into the science, into the health science and specifically uh, for addictions. We have uh, many new research programs on our faculty uh, and uh, new components and new groups on research focused on different areas. By the way, our faculty invested, it's one of the biggest project, project in Europe into the biomedical research. And we have a special branch oriented on biomedical research, including addictions uh, in the area of uh, genetic and epigenetic issues. Uh, this new project called BioCEF is one of the biggest investment into the medical science and, and research in Europe today. Uh, our faculty is providing and, and, and making offer towards our international students in terms of social life, in terms of background for their work and their study here in Prague. We have a special house uh, related to many historical events. We call this house Forst House and maybe some of you know about legend of Forst. And uh, in this special building, uh, historical building, we have uh, located our uh, societies and, and, and working groups uh, organized and, and run uh, by students. And it's dedicated to students' activities. We have uh, many other areas uh, where we are uh, preparing and, and providing something for students, uh, including uh, the special student centers with, with computers and, uh, and background for your study, including digital library and, and, uh, and library as such. So it's, it's just a couple of very general information about the faculty and, and my colleagues will tell you and, 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 and inform you uh, about some other uh, activities, including our special library, including digital library, uh, specifically on addictions. And what I'm really proud of, uh, of this activity because it's only one addiction specialized library in here in, in Central Europe. And it's, it's completely uh, open uh, and, and dedicated to students and, and supporting students' activities. The second thing is clinical base, because this master program is not only about science uh, and specifically addiction science, but it's also uh, dedicated to clinical uh, work and your clinical training. And this is very important and in the center of our focus. And uh, we are trying to do and to prepare maximum for the quality clinical trainings and as you some of you probably know uh, our department is partially under umbrella of Charles University and partially under umbrella of General Teaching Hospital. It practically means that, uh, that clinical base is a uh, very important, huge part of our institution. We have uh, three uh, units for inpatients and six units for outpatients. And uh, it practically also means that we are prepared for accepting students in, in the clinical work and helping students in their training and education activities related to master program. We have uh, also some partners outside of Prague. Some of these partners are really important for clinical training and uh, uh, if you will be successful and if you will pass through uh, entrance exam, uh, you will visit also our summer school organized with our main partner, what is psychiatric hospital in South Bohemia uh, called Červený Dvor. Uh, Red Yard is translation, direct translation of, uh, of the name of this hospital. And uh, with this partner, we are preparing a very intensive summer school focused specifically on clinical trainings. Uh, as you know, our department has a really long history and uh, uh, we have been established in, in 1948, it means that we have almost 75 years. But despite this long history and, uh, and many activities, uh, what we did and what we are doing now, uh, it's, it's really a milestone. And uh, we try to do and we try to prepare everything 
as I said before, what is relevant and uh, welcome you here in Prague and our team, including staff in, in uh, hospital branch is working and participating on these activities. Uh, what is also important, and I would like to mention it, is uh, our special uh, part of team represented by international visiting professors. Uh, in our internal team, we have uh, uh, former drug stars, uh, we have uh, people uh, lead it and leading uh, professional societies participate on many international and national activities and events. But visiting professors is something special and uh, I'm really glad and proud I can announce that uh, uh, we were successful with inviting some big names of our field uh, colleagues with uh, lifelong uh, experiences and 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 uh, working on top positions in our field and people who have started many years ago in collaboration with our department but now these people are becoming our visiting professor and officially participating on preparatory work on this master program and you will meet these people uh, within your staying in Prague and, and your studying in Prague. Uh, some of these names are well known, like Professor Richard Pates from Welsh or uh, uh, Van der, uh, Professor Van der Plaschen from Ghent, uh, University of Ghent uh, here in Belgium and many other, uh, other people. Uh, we try to create something what will be motivated uh, to you, what will follow your interest. For instance, another visiting professor is, is Tom Baber from University of Connecticut. And if you will wish and you will have an interest in alcohol research or, or therapeutic communities, uh, I think that for every uh, particle area, you will find somebody in our team who is relevant, who is uh, well known and, and enough experience for providing you uh, help, support and supervi supervising uh, of your diploma thesis and, and other work, uh, what is part of your future study. So welcome to our addiction world. And at the same time, my special thanks again to Adam and his team for organizing uh, this webinar and providing you fundamental basic information about uh, this study program and things what are waiting for you and our team is waiting for you here in Prague. Thank you very much and see you on entrance exams and see you here in Prague in teaching and training programs and courses and I will be really glad to shake your hands here in Prague in September. Thank you. Thank you, Mikhail, for producing the video. It was great to see you again and have your involvement in today's webinar. Now on to a further video by Susanna Hanikova. Susanna leads the international office at the First Faculty of Medicine. Her career in international education focuses on, focuses on recruitment and student services to ensure that all applicants, students and graduates have a safe, comfortable and inclusive journey through their studies and university processes. So the video by Susanna will be following shortly. Enjoy. Hello and welcome. My name is Susanna Hanikova and I've been working at the first Faculty of Medicine, Chalons University for over two years with international applicants and students. And I'm happy to be here today at the webinar to introduce you more Chalons University, the first Faculty of Medicine, student life at the faculty, and why you should decide to study with us the new master degree in Addictology. First of all, I would like to start with the brief introduction of Czechia, our uh, country, which is really peaceful, uh, beautiful, and as we like to say, full of wonders. Uh, we are located right very in the heart of Europe, surrounded by Germany, Poland, Austria and Slovakia. So you can see that our position is really central, therefore you have a lot of opportunities to travel around when you are here. 
And of course, our capital city is is Prague, which is also really historical, beautiful. But I also want to highlight that it's international, student friendly, and a safe city to live in. And I believe that it will be. It can be confirmed by many of our uh, students. Uh, in Prague, you will also find affordable living costs. There is also extensive international co community and excellent public transportation. From my perspective, I also really like about Prague that it's a green city, so there is a lot of parks where you can spend your free time. And it's a home of Charles University. But some of our facilities are also located in different cities. Now, if we have a closer look, at Charles University, our history dates back to the 14th century when there were four founding faculties and our medical faculty was one of them. So you can see that uh, our history is really long uh, for, and it dates back to uh, many centuries. Nowadays, our university has 17 faculties located in three different cities of Czechia. Charles University, it's a public university, and if you have a look at the rankings, we belong to the top 2% of universities worldwide. At our university, we educate about 50,000 students, including about 10,000 international students. Uh, so you can see that the ratio of local students and international students is quite interesting because about 20 of 20% of our students are international, so you will definitely have the feeling of the community here. And in, this is true even at our faculty. At the first faculty of medicine, which I also sometimes call LF1, we have over 4,000 undergraduate students, and about 800 of them are international students studying our degree programs in English. We, as a first faculty of medicine, we are often well known for our medical and dentistry degree. Uh, these two programs we not only offer in a Czech language, but we also offer it in an English uh, language. That's why we have about 800 international students studying with us. In my presentation, you can also see that there is about um, 1000 teaching staff. Therefore, the ratio is also quite good and you have this individual approach that our teachers and professors can give it to you during uh, teaching, uh, which we believe is also really beneficial uh, when uh, you are getting your education. A few more things that I want to highlight about the first faculty of medicine is uh, tradition, ranking, uh, student community and research. I already mentioned the history of, of our university and our medical faculty belongs to the top 10 oldest medical universities in, in the world. I mentioned the ranking of the university and for the first faculty of medicine or for the medical field, the ranking is even better. If you, for example, have a look at the QS, we belong to the top 1% of uh, universities uh, worldwide and our medical and dental degrees, they are recognized uh, around the globe. And what makes me really uh, proud of, of our faculty is the student community and the student life, because I believe that you will find here a helpful uh, environment full of students who are ready to help you, to assist you, to guide you through, through your studies and, and help you out. There is uh, support for student life. Uh, we have a number of student associations and they do a number of events. The associations are not only for the Czech students, but also for the international students. So you will definitely have a chance to be active in them and uh, join them. And last of all, here I want to briefly mention research because Charles University is a research institution and we truly encourage the research even during your your studies and that's what often our students do there is even a scientific conference happening every year that our students can uh, can join and present their results here on the presentation you can just see a few of the pictures from, from outside and inside 
uh, as we are located in the city center of Prague, a lot of our facilities are located in beautiful historical buildings. But of course, we are trying to renovate them and modernize them, especially from uh, inside. So you then get a better experience. Uh, Professor Mayowski already mentioned um, Biocef, the research world-class facility that is located a little bit outside uh, of Prague. So most of our faculty facilities are located within one area. Uh, of Prague, uh, but for some of them you need to travel a little bit, a little bit further. But I already mentioned excellent public transportation here in Prague and also in Czechia, so you don't, you have nothing to to worry about within this uh, regard. And I want to talk a little bit more in detail about the student life. Uh, I mentioned a few of the student associations, so I want to definitely mention Metsoc which is a medical student organization for our international students. And there is also even Czech Association of Addictology students, so you can be even with your peers uh, within your field. And there's a lot of sport activities, culture events, conferences, workshops, not only focus on your studies, but also focus, let's say, on, on yourself, on your well-being, you know, how to cope with, uh, with your studies because of course it's quite a big change to come to study in Czechia from your home country. And as a support, of course, uh, as a university, we have plenty of options. For you as international students, there is a guaranteed accommodation in our dormitories. Uh, therefore, you just need to be in touch with us and we can book it uh, for you, especially for your first year of your studies. And as we know that the studies can be quite difficult, maybe sometimes, of course, there are like counseling services, coaching, and of course, these services are offered uh, in English with no extra uh, cost. Uh, here in this part of the presentation, I just want to highlight a few details about living and studying in Prague, what you should consider when you are applying uh, to study in, in Czechia and at Charles, uh, Charles University because I already mentioned that the, um, it's, uh, it's a change for you, maybe even for your family to, to move somewhere. So just please consider this when applying. I want to highlight that it's necessary to submit the application on time and you do need to go through the admission process through the entrance exam for the uh, addictology program. I know that Dr. Kohanek he will mention the admission process and the um, steps of the entrance examination more in detail in the next part of the of the webinar. So I'm not going to go into into many details, but please uh, consider if you are an EU citizen or if you are a third country citizen and you require a visa to study in the Czech Republic. The visa process can be quite time consuming, so please, if you require a visa, check the requirements. Even now, uh, think about the document that you need to ready. We as a university, we will provide you documentation, it's part of the documentation that you need. That's, for example, the acceptance letter and the confirmation of accommodation in our dormitories but otherwise the visa process is in your hands. So please check the requirements. Even now, start to think about it, the process. You can check it on the website of our embassies in your country or in your region. All right. Uh, one of the things also to, to consider or have in mind that after acceptance for the studies, after passing the entrance examination, we will also need to verify your previous education. As this is a two-year follow-up master degree, meaning that you will start this master degree in addictology after, for example, finishing your bachelor degree, uh, we will need to verify your, your bachelor uh, degree. So um, in order to be able to study master's degree in addictology, you need to at least have a bachelor degree in, in any, any field. And we will require a verified copy of your bachelor degree, usually together with your transcript of your grades. On our website, you can find a detailed process for, we call it nostrification, 
which is like the verification of your previous education. And the process of the verified copy or the verification also depends on your country of your origin and the country where you studied the, the bachelor degree. All right, so please, if you have any questions, uh, let us know, we will guide you through it. But just be ready uh, to submit uh, this documentation. We understand that maybe now you don't have your bachelor degree yet because you will be graduating in upcoming months. But before you enroll to studies, we need to have a verified bachelor education. Okay, so this is like another requirement after passing the entrance examination. Uh, when thinking about studying in Czechia, you should also consider the tuition fees and living costs. Uh, there are tuition fees involved with uh, studying the master's degree in, in addictology. Uh, These tuition fees cover the tuition, the course, but it does not cover accommodation or the living costs. Okay, The tuition fee that you pay for the course only covers the teaching. All right. Uh, the tuition fee for one year of uh, addictology is uh, 290,000 Czech crowns. Uh, Dr. Kohanek will also mention it uh, afterwards. Uh, and you will pay uh, this fee for every year of your studies. But the degree is for two years. So ideally, you will pay it, uh, you will pay it twice. So just be ready. Uh, for, for the tuition fee uh, finances, the payment is required uh, at the beginning of, uh, of the academic year. Uh, for the first year students, we uh, usually require the payment before enrollment, which is like at the beginning of uh, September. Also, take in mind the living costs, uh, the cost for accommodation, uh, if you, for example, decide to live in a private accommodation, it is more costly than living in the university dormitory. And I also want to highlight the difference in culture and study environment. Um, maybe you've never been to, to Prague and Czechia, so maybe just read something about, about the country. Uh, trying to get to know the, the culture a little bit, what, what it's like to living here, here in Prague. Of course, the study environment by, might be also different from the one that are used to uh, elsewhere. So just be ready that there might be differences when it comes to also learning and teaching. Uh, yeah, so my recommendation is just be adaptive and uh, think about it if you are ready to, to take these uh, steps. Yeah, I briefly touch up on the living costs. Here you can just see it in the presentation that the average living costs are approximately 8,000 euros per year, but this is like the basic package. Let's say the accommodation in the university dormitories, public transportation, uh, food, some basic living expenses, uh, but I already mentioned, if you decide to search for a private accommodation, it can cost you much more. And for example, the living costs might be even even double. So I would say that this amount of money is like the minimum number that you should have in mind when uh, you are thinking about uh, living in, in, in Prague and studying uh, with us. All right, so this was the uh, brief presentation from uh, my side. Here on my last slide, uh, you can also see uh, our contact information. Here you can find more information about the admission process, about the verification of your previous education. I also encourage you to follow us on uh, social media so you know a little bit more about uh, our faculty and uh, I hope that you will enjoy the rest of the webinar. Uh, um, and and it was really it great, was really great to be a part, part of it. Uh, I'm glad that I'm I could glad introduce, that I could introduce you Charles University, Charles University and, and University and the first faculty of medicine. 
and we are looking forward to welcome you at the entrance exam and then hopefully at the beginning of your studies in the next academic year. So thank you very much and I pass the floor to the next speaker and uh, have a good day. Uh, thank you to Susanna for that presentation. Um, very clear, informative, uh, with practical tips on studying the Czech Republic, so thank you. I just wanted to apologise for those of you who experienced some sound issues during that previous presentation. Uh, we've put a note in the chat, but if you could just please make sure your volume is turned up to check your app settings uh, as per the chat instructions. And also don't forget that this webinar is being recorded, so you can catch up at a later date if needed. On to Adam Kuninek. So you may, may remember Adam from our first, pres our first webinar. So welcome back, Adam. It's great to see you again. So Adam is a researcher, clinician, and a university teacher of the Department of Addictology of First Faculty of Medicine. His professional focus is on the topic of smoking and tobacco dependence in the areas of prevention, treatment, research, and education. He is the head of the Center of, for Research and Prevention of Tobacco Use at the Clinic of Addiction Medicine at the First Faculty of Medicine, and he's currently mainly involved in research on so-called new tobacco products, for example, electronic cigarettes and heated tobacco, and is also leading the new international master programs in addictions. So welcome, Adam. Nice to see you again. Uh, over to you. The floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Kirsty, for a very kind introduction and for organizing today's webinar. Uh, hello, everybody, and good afternoon from Prague, from the Czech Republic. Uh, it's my great honor to uh, present today uh, to our uh, master study program. And uh, what I would like to uh, focus on is brief presentation and introduction of our department, Department of Addictology, our clinical facility, our treatment program. And then I will move on the main part of today's presentation, which is the uh, curriculum of the study program, uh, admission process, and especially the practical tips when you are thinking about the applying to our study program. So brief information about our facility, about the Department of Addictology. As uh, our head, Professor Majewski mentioned, we have such a long history, 75 years of the tradition of addiction treatment in the Czech Republic. And we are one of the oldest uh, treatment facility uh, in the Central European region. The first treatment program has um, uh, been established in 1948 for alcohol users. Our um, facility or our institution stands between two main pillars. The first one is the first faculty of medicine, providing the teaching, science, research, and this educational services. And the second institution is General University Hospital, one of the biggest hospitals in the Prague, in the Czech Republic, providing and covering the medical procedures and the treatment services. Uh, why we are so unique and why, why the concept of addictology is uh, so novel within the Europe um, as we call it addictology. We are covering the whole um, uh, pillars or segments of the uh, addiction field because we are focusing on prevention, on research and science, providing treatment and teaching. So our staff, clinicians and researchers and teachers are focusing on all these complementary parts. Uh, when it comes to the clinical program and treatment program of the Department of Addictology, so as uh, I mentioned, we provide comprehensive addiction treatment. We have there eight treatment units from which the three are the inpatient treatment units, we have there two uh, parallel words for women and men. So it means the inpatient treatment program lasting three months, intensive uh, inpatient treatment. Then we have a detoxification unit uh, lasting the or the stay lasts around one or two weeks. It depends on the patient needs and the diagnose. And we are covering 
all the areas regarding the addiction issues such as alcohol dependence, illicit drugs, uh, prescription medication problems, behavior addictions such as gambling, digital addictions as well. We provide also family therapy and sub therapeutical support for family re relatives and we have there also special outpatient department for children and adolescents and we closely collaborate also with the detoxification unit for children and adolescents which is providing by the psychiatric hospital quite close to our department. Um, we have there a 60 beds in total in our facility in our building and multidisciplinary team of 50 experts, 50 professionals uh, such as psychiatrists, uh, clinical psychologists, addiction treatment specialists, psychotherapists um, uh, and others like uh, social workers etc etc. So this is um, our unique concept of the treatment uh, programs. Uh, let me show you briefly like a tour around our building. This is a building of uh, Apollinaire in Czech Apollinaire. Uh, this is the name of the street and the main building. This building where uh, we are situated and I'm sitting here right now as well uh, has a, such a long history. It was built in 14th century when the Charles IV um, established all the area. By the way, the Charles IV is the founder of the Charles University, one of the uh, oldest university in Europe and university where the first faculty of medicine is part of, of uh, the study program. Uh, this is our uh, facility, our building from the view of the garden because we have such a nice view and nice nice garden where the patients can spend their time they can for example jogging um, in the garden or uh, also work therapy is provided in here this is very nice view from the garden to the uh, to the hospital to our building uh, you can see here for example windows of the detox unit and inpatient um, board. Uh, let's have a look briefly to some interiors of our facility. This is the part of the detoxification unit where, by the way, I work as well. I provide group therapies for our patients in the detoxification unit. This is the examination room for doctors and nurses when we have an outcome of the patient. So normally they sit, sit in here. So this is kind of uh, medical room for us, for our patients. Uh, here you can see the so-called social room where the patients um, undergoing detoxification um, in our facility can, for example, read the book or watch TV or play desk games or uh, we have a, a, a group sessions in this, this, uh, in this room. Uh, as my colleagues mentioned earlier, we are collaborating with uh, a lot of international um, organizations uh, and universities. This photo was uh, from the last year when we um, invited a group of experts from Egypt and they, uh, they had a study visit in our department for a few days. You can see here the psychiatrists and the clinical psychologists from Egypt focusing on the treatment of addictions among children and adolescents. So it was a very nice time with them in our facility, in our department. We also organized a lot of uh, seminars, workshops and trainings for our clinical staff, for our teachers and for our students as well. Uh, this picture is from the seminar with Professor Richard Pates, a clinical psychologist from UK, who is specialized in the issue of adverse child childhood experiences. And by the way, the Richard is one of our international teachers with the addictology uh, study program. And this is uh, Professor Miowski, our head of addictology department. Uh, 
Um, the first faculty of uh, medicine offers a lot of opportunities for the student to spend their free time, uh, to spend the time when they need to study, uh, read the books or write the seminar papers and make some um, uh, projects, presentations, uh, etc., etc. This is the building of institution of scientific information where the main medical library is situated. There are also study rooms and some seminar rooms. So in this room, by the way, also our Czech students uh, have a, some seminars in this very nice building. And by the way, our department provides also a parallel library focusing only on the addiction science. So we have a, a, uh, hundreds of uh, monographies, papers and books regarding addiction treatment prevention in Czech, English or other languages which are available for all of our students. When I talk to you about the international collaboration, we are proud to uh, be partner of many such a prestigious institutions, universities and organizations uh, such as uh, ISAP organizer of today's webinar. We are, are collaborating intensively as well with the European Monitoring Center for Drug and Drug Addiction, WHO Drug Advisory Program called DAP and other international, not only European institutions. We are also closely collaborating with foreign universities and we are providing exchange programs for our undergraduate and postgraduate students. So we have a partnership with university in Barcelona, in uh, Ghent, uh, Belgium, in Norway, in, uh, um, in other, uh, other European special countries. We do also research. Our, uh, our department is not only about the treatment program, we do also a lot of uh, research and a lot of studies uh, because we have there a department dedicated only for science uh, where, where we have around 20 colleagues, teachers and academicians and scientists here you can see the uh, addictology peer-reviewed international journal published in English and we are proud partner, our department is proud partner of this international journal and we are also partner of this Czech journal in Czech language for uh, Czech professionals. This uh, second one journal is focused mainly on the, on the practice uh, when it comes to treatment and prevention. So we do a lot of publications and treatment studies, research studies such as epidemiological studies, RCT studies, uh, analyzing health registries, etc., etc. So we have a uh, kind of very uh, comprehensive team of clinicians, teachers and uh, researchers included in the study program as well. Now uh, let's focus briefly to the um, study program, to our structure of study programs we are offering, uh, to the curriculum, some courses and other practical information you need to apply our pretty new uh, English master's study program. Uh, on this slide you can see the pyramid scheme representing the robust system of our all study programs. We have started uh, with the Czech programs uh, almost 20 years uh, before and the first program we have established was the bachelor study program in addictology. It means three years lasting study program currently only for the Czech students because we have there a structure of undergraduate and postgraduate study program study programs all of them are provided under the first faculty of medicine uh, charles university in prague the second level uh, we are uh, providing we are covering its master's study program in addictology we have there a uh, long tradition of the czech study program also lasting two years and what we are talking uh, today is the English, so the new component, new modality English study program, which I will describe in more details later on. 
Then there is a also so-called rigorous proceedings. In Czech, we call it a small doctorate. It's kind of a middle part between the undergraduate and postgraduate level, uh, only provided currently for Czech students. And last but not least, we have a very prestigious PhD doctoral study program lasting normally four years. It is provided in Czech and in English language as well. In this study program, we have the largest international community of students, for example, from India, from Malaysia, from Pakistan, Germany. We have their clinicians, we have their experts in epidemiology and other fields of uh, addiction science. Uh, what uh, can be interesting for you when you finishing or when you finish the master study program in addictology, you can continue with our doctoral uh, degree in in personal, in personal or in combined form, and the PhD study program is um, teaching uh, all in, in the English language, so it is the great opportunity for the international students also to enlarge and to uh, to upgrade their their knowledge and skills, especially in the science uh, area. When it comes to history, as I mentioned, we have a, a long tradition of teaching the addictology, addiction science, addiction treatment in the Czech Republic. As you can see here, we started and opened the first study program for the Czech students in 2005. So almost 20 years uh, of tradition, uh, the addictology study program. Then we opened the master study program. This was the Czech study program in 2008. In 2012, the next uh, milestone of our educational programs, it was the PhD study program. And last but not least, the, uh, the biggest event or the moment for us is this year and opening this exclusive English master study program, all in English, which is called Addictology as well. Um, I have to say that we are successful. The study program is very prestigious in the Czech Republic and uh, in the European context. And these are the numbers as a result of our intensive educational effort. Uh, uh, currently, we have there uh, 160 bachelor students in the Czech bachelor study program, almost 60 students in the Czech master study program, and uh, 30 PhD students consisted, consisted of Czech and also English or international students. Um, from the past 20 years, we have there more than 500 successful graduates of the Edictology program under the first Faculty of Medicine. So we are so proud for these numbers and these very successful students uh, who can be part of the treatment prevention uh, or other, um, other career opportunities in addiction um, area. Now the main topic of my presentation, new English master study program in addictology. It is, as we mentioned earlier, the master study program. So our graduates, our students finish the program with the master degree diploma from the first faculty of medicine from the Charles University in Prague. It is two years lasting study program consisted of four semesters. Uh, what is important information for you, only the full-time study is required. So there is no possibility to study, for example, in online form or in some kind of combined form. This is the full-time uh, study program uh, requiring to uh, stay in Prague and be in person uh, present during the study program. Study, tu study tuition uh, is uh, 200,090 uh, Czech crowns per one study year. Uh, in euros, it is around uh, 11,600 euros. In uh, dollars, let me see, it's 12,600 dollars. So this is a tuition fee for one, one year. And all the teaching is in English, all the materials, seminars, online, 
um, study materials, everything, everything only in English language. Uh, also the final master thesis, which is the final outcome of the study program. Um, uh, we have there a very comprehensive and very robust curriculum of the courses and topics including in the study program. Now I will show you some of the um, areas we are covering, some of the topics and the seminars which are part of the whole curriculum of the program. The clinical courses and the clinical skills is the main focus of this, of this study program. So our study program is designed to um, improve clinical skills, psychotherapeutic skills, counseling skills and prepare our students especially for the treatment setting, counseling setting for the, uh, for the patient uh, work especially. Uh, on this slide you can see some of the courses of the study program uh, dedicated to clinical skills such as clinical assessment, CBT therapy and addiction treatment or advanced clinical skills. Um, also some courses um, designing as a practical courses, uh, final case study where the student um, uh, preparing the complex case study and then it's presenting to teacher intensive psychotherapeutic skills tra training so it means 40 hours of practicing and training the clinical and psychotherapeutic skills. Uh, we cover also uh, prevention within the, within the study program. As you can see here, courses about the community-based prevention, environmental prevention, media and ICT-based prevention, etc., etc. Our research is also some part of the study program because uh, what is very important to prepare our students be able to uh, finish the master thesis diploma and to um, to perform some some um, study design and some some research as a part of this final outcome. So we have there some basic recommendations for publishing in addiction science, research methodology, practical research skills. Uh, here you can see some international or transdisciplinary courses um, from the uh, um, legal area, law enforcement, harm reduction is it also included and in other, um, other important topics. And this is the highlight of the uh, clinical um, trainings because there is a very important part um, in the summer, summer part of the study program, clinical summer school in psychiatric hospital Czerveni Vur, uh, Red Yard in English, where the students uh, spend two weeks in this RL, in this facility and collaborating intensively with the, with the treatment, um, treatment staff. They can work uh, hands-on with the patients, with the case studies and there are also practical trainings designed in this intensive two weeks summer school. So only about the practice, counseling, psychotherapeutic skills and real practice in the uh, treatment facility. This is the nice RL area of the uh, Czerveni Dvor Psychiatric Hospital, our, our partner. It is situated in the castle from 16th century. The building is located around 200 kilometers far from Prague. So that's the reason why we are put this intensive uh, summer school um, to the summer month uh, be, between the, the normal teaching program. Uh, my colleague Professor Miowski mentioned some international colleagues who are involved in the teaching. So the Professor Miowski will be one of them, of the teachers, uh, providing uh, some, um, some seminars, some teaching of this study program. Then we will have a seminars and teaching and support with the master thesis. Uh, with uh, Professor Svetlana Skurtweit, a young professor for, from Norwegian Center for Addiction Research from University of Oslo. She is a 
excellent researcher specialized in uh, pharmacoepidemiology and opioid uh, use research. The next proud teacher or uh, our prestigious teacher will be, as I mentioned, Professor Richard Pates, clinical psychologist from University of Worcester, uh, highly specialized in adverse childhood experiences and, and publishing in addiction science. So also you can meet him um, during the study program. Professor Thomas Weber, uh, US, uh, excellent researcher and scientist in um, uh, public health and alcohol policy. So the next uh, so-called superstar of our uh, teachers team. And by the way, Dr. Walter van der Blasken from the Kent, Belgium, um, Europe, from the Department of Special Needs uh, Education, also uh, one of our international teachers specialized in therapeutic communities, recovery, case management, and other other topics. At this slide you can see uh, the structure of the academic year, how the academic year is normally designed and structured uh, in the first faculty of medicine. Most of the study programs including addictology starts at the turn of September of October and then we have two semesters, winter semester and summer semester. So during the October the winter semester uh, starts uh, consisted of seminars, teaching um, or, or other inpatient one-to-one um, uh, -one, uh, um, teaching and training. There is a Christmas vacation uh, during the December when um, students can go home to see their family or have a free time and after uh, the new year, January, there is continuation of the winter semester and there is a few weeks, four weeks dedicated for the examination period to finish the, um, the, the courses. And then summer semester continues between the February and June. During the June, end of the June, there is a summer examination period. And in July and August, we would like to organize an intensive clinical uh, summer school, as I talked about it. Um, uh, in previous slides. Uh, what about the admission requirements and the uh, structure of the admission process as the last message of my presentation? So what is very important, this is the deadline for applications, 29th of February this year. So I highly recommend if you are decided and if you would like to improve your career uh, uh, and your clinical skills especially, do not wait a long time and apply for the study as soon as possible. Uh, we have there a two rounds structure of the admission requirements. I will talk about it a little bit more in a little bit details. So let's move on it. This is the online application portal as my colleague Susanna talked about the requirements and the required documents every student has to send and upload to the system. So this is the uh, interface of electronic application portal. You can find the link in the chat or you can find this link also at our homepage of Addictology Study, Study Program. It's very easy to go through the system it's, and it's also very easy to upload your uh, documents such as um, uh, such as motivational letter or other personal documents to the system. So all the um, um, documents are sent only in electronic uh, way in the first step. And now about the uh, admission process. The first round is mainly about the documents and requirements you and, and the criteria you have to meet. There is a online application. You have to uh, you have to pay the application fee and you have to send. Uh, diploma and the notification of your completed or finished bachelor degree. Uh, it doesn't matter what is the field of your previous bachelor degree, so it uh, it doesn't have to, ha have to be in the addiction area. It can be economy or history, but you have to um, provide your previous bachelor um, uh, finished bachelor degree. Then there is a required to send the motivational letter following the structure of few information about your background, 
motivation to study in our faculty and about the career plans and you can earn or you can get a more uh, credits more points when you provide the bonus bonus credits or bonus courses uh, so this is the way how you can get more points more credits during the first admission round uh, what are the these bonuses courses in a course, uh, which is, means introduction for evidence-based prevention, it is our uh, online uh, free course uh, called INEP Mini and INEP 40. You can find it uh, in the Google search in the website of addiction addictology department. So this is these are the courses as a bonuses. And also, if you have uh, finished the courses as a UPC um, or UTC, so Universal Prevention or Treatment Curriculum, you can get some extra bonuses, extra credits in the first round of the admission process. Then, continue the second uh, round or the second part of the admission process, which is online interview, lasting about around 30 minutes. And there will be the examination com committee consisted of three my colleagues, doctors, scientists, researchers, psychologists, etc. So teachers and academicians from our faculty. The interview will be uh, operated only online via Zoom interface, and uh, you should have to present your motivation, your background, if you have any experience in the area and we will ask each student some questions regarding the addiction field, addiction treatment, motivation, etc. etc. Um, uh, if you would like to have more information, more details regarding our study program, you can follow or you can visit our Department of Addictology website. You will also find it in the chat uh, and you can also have more information in the first of faculty, first faculty of medicine website. You can follow also iSubject Republic, where we sometimes publish some news, some new information. And in case of any uh, questions, any any important questions from your side, you can send us email to this email, uh, email address, or you can ask my colleagues from international office of the first faculty of medicine. My colleagues from the first faculty of medicine are ready to answer the questions, especially regarding the payment, visa, uh, required documents, or other interesting parts of the admission process. So this is the end of my presentation. I hope I will see you during the um, entrance process and I hope also to see you at the beginning of the study programs and last but not least I'm um, wishing you a good luck when the entrance exams in the addiction addictology study program. Thank you Adam. Uh, that presentation was excellent, really detailed and informative once again. Um, yeah, and a really good insight into student life in Prague. Um, we have so many questions, so we'll try and get through as many as you can as we can. So I hope you're prepared, Adam. So it's now time to start the Q&A session. So thank you everybody for sending in your questions. Um, we'll make a start if that's okay. So on to the first question, which is a great question. I am a person with lived experience in addiction. How important is it to have students with lived experience on the course? Uh, it is not a requirement to have any previous experience or any previous um, study program in the addiction field. So if we have there any students who are willing to start a new career or start a study newly in this area, it's absolutely okay. The uh, formal requirement is to have finished any of the bachelor previous study program, but the study program is designed to provide the students all the necessary basic levels of information, of data, of knowledge and skills. So it's absolutely okay if any of our uh, applicants or students 
have no experience or background in the addiction addiction field or addiction treatment. Great, Adam. Thank you. Because the next question it does lead on to that. Somebody is asked if they need to have a medical or health background uh, to apply for the course, but you've answered that already. So thank you. Um, the next question, we've had quite a lot of questions on this, but I don't know if you can just uh, explain it again in a bit more detail about the scholarship opportunities. Lots of people are asking if there are any opportunities that are available for scholarships. Yeah, it is very frequently asked question. Yeah, 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 yeah. So currently, the First Faculty of Medicine does not provide any form of the of the scholarship, especially the full right scholarship is not provided currently. But I would recommend all the students try to contact their embassy uh, and the embassies can, for example, provide some uh, partial grants for, for the stay in Prague. And uh, regarding the First Faculty of Medicine, there is some possibility of the scholarship, but during the study program, and it is uh, for the above average um, results during the study, then and then the students can get some some money for for this this above average results but currently there is no opportunity for to cover a whole scholarship for the study program okay thanks adam uh, the next question is uh, somebody's asked do students need medical insurance upon arrival in prague Yes, it is. It is important to have a uh, insurance, uh, medical insurance, when when they would like to stay in Prague. I would say it is part of the uh, visa process. But uh, in case of any types of these questions, I would like to refer the students and the applicants to our international office of the faculty and the ladies, the administrative workers, will answer these questions in more detail. Yeah. Thank you. A um, few more questions. So a great question has come in saying, is there a payment plan for tuition fees or do I need to pay all the fees all at once? Um, it is required to pay the one year or the, so the, the one whole year the student should pay um, uh, at the beginning of the study. I'm not sure right now if there is any possibility to uh, to select the payments for the long ride. So in case of these questions, I would also refer the students for the international office. But it is definitely um, uh, possible to pay uh, the the one year and then the next year during the study. Okay, great, thank you. Um, so somebody's asked. I think I think I know the answer to this, but I'll let you answer it anyway because I think you've already covered it. But somebody's asked, um, can my spouse travel with me to Prague whilst I study? And do you know if they will be eligible to work? To work? Um, as I pre presented the structure of the academic year, there is uh, some part of the year where the student can go back. Uh, to uh, their countries or, uh, for example, to, to visit the family. Um, uh, we designed a study uh, curriculum that the student should be able to, um, uh, to be uh, available at the in-person in uh, seminars um, the three days in the week. And then uh, most time, uh, as we have it in the Czechware program, the Monday and Friday is for the uh, self-learning or some online courses. So the three days during the week is required time uh, spent with the, with the seminars and teaching. Okay, thank you. Well, two more questions, I think, and then we'll probably wrap up on Conscious of Time. Uh, somebody has asked, are there any opportunities for postgraduate work after the studies have been completed? Um, I'm, I'm not sure if the question is focused for the work in the Czech uh, Republic or or yeah. or, yeah, or abroad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. uh, when it, yeah. When it comes to the study program, the um, um, the students after finishing the study program are not able to provide any medical procedures because it's not like a medical doctor or dentistry so the study program um, is not kind it is it is not as a certification to provide any type of 
the uh, the medical procedures but it's very good base and very good uh, how to say the starting point to um, to start the clinical career so the master product master study um, program is the great um, background to be a for example manager of the uh, addiction facility or to to uh, to start and continue with the psychotherapeutic practice or counseling practice so i would especially recommend to focus on this clinical uh, part of the practice okay thanks adam i think that's it for the questions um yeah that we've had a lot of questions and we can't answer them all so i'm conscious of time but if you have, everybody can see in the chat uh, we've put a, a link to the landing page for the addictology study program and the electronic application portal. So please feel free to check out those. So that's it. Well, thank you very much to Susanna and to Adam. Thank you. Nice to see you again, Adam. Um, and thank you for answering all the questions. We had so many today. So it's a pleasure to have you with us. And uh, thank you for the team, to the team behind the scenes as well for their support. So this concludes the webinar. Thank you for attending. We hope you found this follow up useful and informative and has provided you with a practical insight into the study programme in Prague. So you will receive a follow-up email within 24 to 48 hours with a link to view a recording of today's webinar. So on behalf of ISAP and our presenters, thank you very much for joining today and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye for now. Thank you, everybody.